Hey everyone, welcome to Data Ants channel. This is Sai here. Today we'll be going over NetSuite Administrator top five tips and tricks to help you guys with your day-to-day -day NetSuite tasks and making it a better place to be inside NetSuite. So to get started, I wanted to show you guys an admin checklist. I wanted to help you guys prepare for Suite Foundation if you're looking into various topics that are needed for uh, sweet foundation exam. So I'm giving it out for free for the first 20 users. So feel free to check it out I'll put the link in the description um, So without further ado, let's get started with our tips. So tip one automation is key So what does automation inside NetSuite mean? So when I say automation, it means that inside NetSuite you could automate everything ranging from workflows through um, like key processes in the system, for example, a sales order, like you wanted to approve that order and fulfill it. So instead of manually doing that process, you could automate it if it has a certain condition or criteria met. Same thing goes with the invoice approval workflows too. You could do the same. And similarly, you could do automation through like, for example, you wanted to send out safe search results. Instead of like manually exporting it, sending to a stakeholder, you could definitely do that through like, um, like if I were to open up a save search, you can directly do it through the email tab inside the save search. So it will definitely help you guys save time and automate key processes or like this. So that's tip number one for you guys. And let's hear some other examples I've put together, like to embrace automation inside NetSuite. Um, and yeah, this QR code is for data ants on LinkedIn. So feel free to follow us. And if you are looking for help in, inside a certain module in NetSuite, or if your company needs help, we are there to help or support. Uh, we are looking to take on new clients now. So going back to our video, tip number two, customization inside NetSuite. So I would not suggest customizing for the sake of customization inside NetSuite. I would rather do it only for efficiency. So when I say only for efficiency is that NetSuite itself has a lot of custom modules and features in it, and it has inbuilt custom customization tools that would, that would not require you to like, again, further customize through SuiteScript, for example. So in that case, I would say use customization, for example, uh, like if you wanted to build out a custom dashboard for uh, a finance user, right? So you can like build out a custom dashboard, only bring in the portlets or save searches or any per like personalize this for their usability. So to make their life easier, not just that, you can also build in like custom reports, custom saved reports or save searches to make their life easier. Now, or, or you can customize forms. Um, you can also customize fields. You can create new custom records inside NetSuite that captures data that is uh, relevant to your organization, right? All of these are possible through customization inside NetSuite. So like, yeah, definitely focus on customization, but only if it makes your life efficient. So there's that. Here are some fields, like I said, workflows, align how, how it works out. Okay, tip number three. So you need to master inbuilt reporting inside NetSuite. So being an administrator, there is no excuse if you don't know to create safe searches. So I would suggest work on mastering inbuilt reporting inside NetSuite, like safe searches, um, KPIs, like the, the, the robust reporting offerings inside NetSuite, like report snapshots. So I would suggest like learning all of these particular um, tools inside NetSuite and understanding how NetSuite data model is structured so you can quickly build out reports, understand the domain knowledge for your organization, and then not just save searches, you also now have Suite Analytics. So you can use Suite, you can leverage Suite Analytics to like build out like fancy pivot tables, charts, graphs, that that can leverage, um, you know, your data and make it look, look pretty through pivot tables and not just pretty, but also help in analysis for like, you know, different types of, transactions. So, so this is just a sample pivot table. So if I were to like do a summary by period, so there's, there's something like this, right? So all of these are like possible inside NetSuite. So you can have column charts. I think you have different chart types you could let me could leverage. So feel free to take a look at this. Okay. So once you've mastered reporting and, and analytics inside NetSuite, you're almost halfway there being a, a NetSuite guru. So 
there we go and next uh, data security so it is crucial and one of the most important aspects of being an administrator is to monitor like who's getting access to the system who's doing what or like who is um, like working on critical data so you need to make sure you are aware of that so some of the key points that I would bring up are like you need to be proactive in your approach and like for example audit trails inside NetSuite fine-tuning user roles and permissions access levels like I mentioned all the points here so like you need to access restrict uh, sensitive data obviously there needs to be certain policies set in the system maybe complex passwords password policy needs to be set in the system and then um, two-factor authentication obviously and then to maintain make sure that you know there there's certain roles can only access uh, the information that is relevant for them so so that there's no like data creep and uh, unnecessary data doesn't fall into the wrong hands so data security is crucial and do keep in mind that NetSuite offers a variety of like inbuilt um, tools inside to monitor like audit trails and then to like see who's logged in into the system if there's any uh, login failures or like IP it also provides IP based restrictions so feel free to look into that so this is tip number four and then final but not this the last but not the least favorite tip of mine is the sweet answer so without sweet answers I don't know like where we would have been right so Sweet Answers definitely helps us with uh, understanding like uh, certain processes and um, like if you if you wanted to like get a step by step instructions there's no, there's no knowledge base like Sweet Answers so I would say stay informed uh, with the latest NetSuite features through Sweet Answers or like through uh, NetSuite LinkedIn or, or their community channel participate on on Reddit maybe there are certain groups on Reddit. Uh, which have plenty of information on NetSuite processes, how to solve certain um, like problems that you face in your day-to-day -day admin tasks. So definitely participate in discussion forums and uh, share your knowledge. So you know you can gain more from like other admins who face similar experiences or like similar problems. So you can get uh, to your solution faster. So yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and like hopefully you got to know more like what five tips or tricks to focus on inside NetSuite so like uh, like I said again automation is key so tip one uh, customize only for efficiency tip two and then m you need to master inbuilt reporting inside NetSuite so that's your tip three and then data security being crucial um, making sure that you have a good audit trail knowledge of uh, how things are in Senate Sweden being proactive in terms of roles and responsibilities um, and then I would say if your company uses SSO even better but if not then you need to be even more cognizant about how data is being utilized in, the, in your um, in your instance so and then tip five is using sweet answers and participating in the NetSuite community obviously so to make um, your job easier and also like you know to um, get more uh, creative ideas and like to know what is happening in the NetSuite world. So hopefully I see you guys all in Sweet World this year.